Hello everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well today. Today I have something a little bit different because I decided to participate in Craftably's mystery boxes. Um because I'm me and I wanted to see like if when they do these in the future like what level I would actually consistently buy at. I decided to buy one from every tier. Um I did not get one from the $250 tier because I missed that one, but I did get one from all the other tiers, so I'm going to do one video per the, the four, four that I got. So this is the $50 box. Um, I am really curious to see what's in here. I, 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 I cut everything so that I could just get to it. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. And please forgive my voice today. I am recovering from a cold. And uh, it, it's been a, an interesting time. Oh, we got a cool little note here. I forgot that they always put a note like this on the, the back of the the the, invo the packing slip. Joyous greetings. Thank you so much for your purchase. Your support of our small family-owned business means the world to us. We appreciate you and hope this package brings you joy. Craftably yours, Amy, aka Craftably Wife. Well, Amy, I, I think it is going to bring me joy because I already like what I'm seeing. Alright, so we got some, some bubbles here, which I'm going to pop because I'll fill it later. So, my understanding is the small ones would be a mixture of round or square kit and then random stuff. Let's see, what do we get? So this is a... This little bag would come in handy if I traveled with my kits. Oh, yes! Uh -huh. I always need more of these things. I, I love having these containers, because um, I kit up so many things at once. But I always need more containers. Okay, so what do we got? Alright, so we've got trays. And... Some stickers, which will be handy. Wax and these things. Okay. And let's see what else is in here. Oh, a roll of baggies. That'll be cool. So that that's a that this is a handy like little starter kit if you're just starting out doing diamond painting. This is something that uh I picked up something similar to this when I first started because I didn't know exactly what I would like. And um this is handy if you're first starting out or you don't have a large budget. They're usually fairly cheap. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Is this, this is one of their journals. I've been kind of curious about the journal. It comes with its own little toolkit. Oh, cool. I'm kind of curious. Does this have lines on it? Or would this be more like a, a sketch journal? Oh, uh, this could be more like a sketch journal. That's cool. Or if you wanted to, you can convert it into like a a logbook. Or I, I keep like two different styles of logbooks. I keep my my main logbook, which is like basically my inventory sheet, and then I keep a smaller logbook that is my finished logbook. I might I might do some adjusting to how I was doing things. We'll see. We'll have to find out. Those are some big, those are some big beads, and I guess they go right there. This again, that would that would be cool to have to work on. That's the first. I don't have one of those. I have bookmarks. I don't have a journal. So far, I am highly impressed. All right, we got another air bubble packet here. Oh, they put a little baggie of of candy and stuff. Let's see, let's see what we got. Yes, I am not pulling out the paintings yet. Because why? Oh, my son is going to have a field day. Alright, so. We got a bunch of, like, little candies. Oh, that is really nice. Thank you. My, my eight-year-old is going to love this. I'm, I'm going to dash this away and give it to him. When he comes up to me going, Mommy, do you have any candy? Uh, yes, son, I do. I do. I have, I have, I have something right here you can have. 
That's cool. I like that. Now, let's see. What do we have here wrapped in bubble wrap? Oh, yeah. I got one of the Bella Art trays. I, uh... I wanted to see how Bella Art's uh, quality is. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. It's not a big tray. It's very small. It might be, it fits in my, the palm of my hand. But honestly, this tends to be the size tray that I use the most often. Um, I have one of the big white ones that I use when I know I'm using a lot of colors. But I have a bunch of little ones like this that were like 3D printed that I switch between all the time because I like them. So that's actually kind of cool. I like that. I can't wait to actually uh, try it out. That'll be fun. Alright, let's see. What else do we have? Oh. Oh, I've gotten a couple of these from uh, Mary's Diamonds and Distracted by Diamonds. But it's basically like you, you pretty much wind up with uh, six different trays because they they nest inside each other so you wind up with six six varying sizes and trays that you can use um at, personally they're not my favorite style of tray but they do make it easier to store like multiple trays in an area but they're not my favorite because there's no like drain spot for the there's no spout for the beads to go through so that it can, if you get like staticky beads, it can be a pain in the butt to um to 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 move them out of it. Okay. Ooh, another pen. Oh, and this is the style I like too, where it's nice and thin down here where my hand holds. I I'm really weird with my pens. I don't like the ones where they're really thick down here where I hold it. I don't mind if the middle section's a little bit thicker, but I don't like the ends where I have to hold it to be thick. And it's got a whole bunch of the ends. It's got a bunch of the multi-placers and a few single placers. So that'll be cool. I'll probably wind up putting my own um, metal placers in it that I buy. Because I, I much prefer the metal over the plastic. So, oh, cool. Are these Christmas ornaments or? Ah, this looks like it might be, uh, like keychains, maybe? Alright, those are gonna, I'm not gonna open it because I, knowing me, if I try to open it, it's not gonna all go back in there. But, like, you can see they're, they're like a keychain slash Christmas ornaments and you have your your trays and all that stuff in there and your drills. Uh, that's gonna be cool. I'm gonna that's gonna be fun to work on. I'll probably work on that on stream one night instead of like a bookmark like I usually do when I'm playing certain games. Oh, one of these things. I've been meaning to get one of these. Now I don't have to. I wonder what color did I get? Ah, I did. I got the, I got the green one. But this is a drill vacuum. So what this is, is like if you drop your drills on the floor or something, you can use this to help vacuum them up. That way you don't have to throw them away. So that's cool. I like that. That's going to be, um, well, I don't know. Is this a, it's going to be a drill thing? Well, it just says it's a mini vacuum. So... I don't know. I'll have to play with it and figure out how exactly it works. But that's what I would assume it would work. I guess it's just not advertised as a drill pickup because, you know, they'll charge more for it then. Alright, now, now to the fun part. What kit did we get? Ooh. So we got Krabby. I don't, I don't think I remember seeing this one on the website. I could be wrong. It could be. Maybe I just look over it. But... We got Krabby, which is a sixteen or a twelve by sixteen. Not my normal style, but I like it. 
Oh, and a little koala. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. I love it. And it's a 14 by 14. Oh, this is round. Okay, both of these are round. So these are the two kits that we got in this one. And I like that. This is cute. These are very cute. These might be something that I just do in between some of my larger pictures to give myself a break. I like to do smaller ones like this in between my big ones because it helps like reset my 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 process and everything. So those are cute. I love it. Overall, I will definitely say that this box is well it the the fifty dollar box is definitely well worth it for what you pay because both of these kits together just these would be about fifty dollars um and then when you calculate in this this is usually around ten to twenty dollars on Amazon something like this is usually about five bucks. I've never seen these sold on their own, so I couldn't say. This is usually between $10 and $15. I've noticed that these are usually around $10. So yeah, you definitely get your money's worth. This this set here is definitely something that's usually like 10 bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna say that for sure you get you get your you get your money's worth for the mystery box. I, I would highly recommend this one. If you're just if you only have like fifty bucks to spend and you're wanting a, just a nice little surprise, I would recommend this one. And let's see here. I ordered it on Tuesday when it went live. So Tuesday or Wednesday? Whatever day it went live. Oh. Excuse me. Whatever day it went live. I, I got it that day. It shipped out the next day. Today is Friday. So I got it within like two, three days. Um, so very good shipping. Uh, I do like the fact that they use FedEx because I'm not a UPS fan. Uh, just my personal, personal gripe with UPS. So I'm, they, for my stuff anyways, they, use, they tend to use FedEx. I don't know if that's for everybody. But I know for my stuff, everything has always come FedEx, and I and I like that because FedEx is usually, for for me anyways, FedEx has been very very accurate in how they do things. But yeah, I I am very happy with this, and I'm very uh very pleased with this particular mystery box, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one when I open up the next mystery box that I have. And I hope you enjoyed what you found in this one. I hope this gives you a better uh, ex example and understanding of what's, what would could possibly be in one of these boxes. Um, I think in the future it would be kind of fun to have like a mystery box with maybe like a mystery kit mixed in with some of this stuff. But maybe they'll do that with some of the bigger boxes. The more expensive ones. The ones that were like 100 to to, to 250 Maybe they'll put that in that one of those boxes. But for a small $50 mystery box with a diamond painting theme, I think this is very well worth it. Well, thank you everybody for hanging out with me. I hope I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope that you guys will go give Craftably a try. They are a wonderful company who has been having some issues this year with supply. Like a lot of people have. And I'm very pleased with everything that I have gotten from them. And uh, I hope you all check out my links below. I, I have my streaming channel where I do gaming. I have my YouTube channel where I repost and sometimes record and post new gaming videos. And I have a Discord where it's mostly just adults hanging out. We do tend to have a focus towards um, towards uh, towards gaming type content, but that's because most of them I met through my gaming channel, but I do have a small diamond painting section. So everybody's always welcome as long as you're over 18 and you realize that we're there to have fun. But I will see you all next time. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Bye.